What's up guys, it's your boy Pete and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything house plant related. That tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back, and you just enjoy this here on video. Alright guys, on today's video, um, we are going over the updates of our crawlers that we did. Um, okay, alright, that's the only good thing. Alright, um, I was checking for roots, you guys. I checked on the other one over here, didn't see anything. But anyway, um, you guys know that we did repot these here babies um, in something that actually supports their needs. And I can honestly tell you that I'm so excited. They're growing. She's, they're growing, all right? That's the best thing we could say right now is that they're growing. Um, so what we're going to do is move the camera down, you guys, and I'm going to let you in here and I'm going to show you what's going on. Um, one has done a lot more growing than the other one which again I can understand why um, simply because of how it was treated before um, getting repotted into soil alright well repotted into this here situation so let's go ahead and move this here camera down you guys whoa alright so I have both of them up here with me this is the um, philodendron mame um, citrus freaking awesome plant this was the newest leaf that it gave me you guys it was like attacked and I mean attacked like by spider mites sorry about the plane if you can hear it um, yeah you can see those little spots it got attacked on the leaf now the other two did not have any type of spider mites on it but that newer one there yeah um, now again this one had stopped growing it pushed out this leaf um, it came with this leaf and one more that came off um, but as you can see my yeah um, this one looks a lot better um, the part that if you remember that did get cut off was the part that got stuck unfurling and then it started to um, like what is it mold or what is it like begonias milk yeah it was like melting or some odd stuff again sorry about the dog um but all in all let's let's move this one out the way so maybe i can focus a lot better all right so there we go um but yeah she caught spider mites and i said i was going to cut this off so i can monitor um what is new and what's not i mean of course you can see it get bigger but you know i would rather keep it and watch it as it grows but anywho um she's doing okay as of now what is this okay she's doing okay as of now you guys i thought i seen this dirt as long as it's not moving we're good um i probably should have checked it before i picked it up but anyway um she's doing fine and also the new growth point that has that been a growth point for 12 years has finally decided where are we at wait something's in the way or maybe it's just okay it's just my eyes there we go um she's finally starting to open up i'm so happy you guys it's been so freaking long and i mean like so long since she's given me a new leaf and as you can see um the new leaf is a little bit stunted um yeah I'm, I don't know if it was, well, I know for a fact it was stunted because it had on just completely outgrew its um, pot that it was in. It was actually in one of, like, the pot that my, if you watched the last video, um, that my um, crystallinum is in. But, yeah, it was root bound, you guys. We took all the soil and stuff out, but it was a cold night. And what I did wrong, well, I knew it was wrong, but I just knew she was going to bounce back, and she did. It just took way longer than what I had freaking expected. But, um, yeah, this little patio thing, it looks thick, way thick, kind of like first, second leaf type of thick. Um, I don't see any, wait, take that back. Yes, I see one root, which will explain. I mean, once you see new growth, then I know for a fact there's like new roots, but... Um, I haven't seen like a ton 
of new roots. I see more roots on the Gloriosum than I do on this one here. Um, I only just spotted one to be honest with you and I thought I looked it over. I was going to say no new root growth but there it is right there. You can see that clear just as red little red looking stick thing you guys. If you can hear the, the what is this thing called? If you can hear the heater, sorry you guys. Fairly cold today. Fairly cold today. But um, yeah, new root there. Um, I need to, I haven't figured out like a water regimen. Honestly, it's just when it's time to water, this whole thing gets soaked. Um, there's like more surface area space for evaporation. So I don't know. Um, but all in all, she's okay. Of course, these leaves might go, they might stay, but I'm hoping about time she gets to this end, she's quadruple the size. Um, keep our hands crossed, hands, fingers crossed, and let's just hope so. And we're going to move on to this here next one, which is the Philodendron Gloriosum. Um, oh, I should have gave you guys an update. Uh, move on. It's the mother plant on uh, the mother part. You guys, you know, we did chop. Was it this one? Yeah, we did chop the ends off, which is why, oh my goodness, which is why it took a little bit more time to bounce back. Jeez, I completely forgot about that, you guys. We did top it. This is the top part. And the rest of it is actually growing. And like I said, I'll do a, um, a small insert, and we'll insert it here. So this is the tent that we're using. Um, not tent, but the tank. Um, this is the tank that we had our propagations in. I'm just keeping like the water propagations in plants that are um, <laughs> basically in ICU. But um, here is the Philodendron Mamia. Oh, the leaf is coming up. Um, citrus. There's two leaves, guys. Look. Holy crap. All right. So she's definitely hatching. This is all I've been seeing for the longest. Didn't even notice that leaf there was even open, to be honest with you. But this is her. This is she. She is growing, and we are double sided. I honestly did not prepare for this, especially that one. This one, yeah, I've seen it, but not even seen, being able to see the. Whoa. Come on, camera. Not being able to see the leaf coming out, like freaking awesome. But yeah, this is the cut. She's just down in sphagnum moss. Whoa, come on, focus for me. There we go, down in sphagnum moss. Like, look at those roots. Like, come on, freaking awesome. But yeah, guys, this is, her. This is she. Yeah, um, it is growing back though. But yeah, that explains a lot. But. That explains a lot. You have to go back. And I just could not figure out what was stalling her. So I guess now she has the strength to push out another leaf, which is A-OK. -okay. So what I'm going to do once I get through, you guys, is just trim this back so we keep an eye on it. And definitely keep an eye on this infected behind. This leaf was horrible. This is like one of the most horrible infected spider mites. Probably because I wasn't expecting it to have spider mites, you know? That's probably why I didn't really check it, but glad I did, and I definitely keep my eye on it. Um, definitely spray it down. I try to spray the foliage down um, when I go through, but it all depends on um, what's in the spray can. But anywho, you guys, philodendron, palmania, citrus. Freaking, I love this plant. I like love this here freaking plant when I seen it it was like a complete give it to me you know like the pattern I might have to yeah that light is there we go regular mame except it's like a citrus color and you know I love that citrus goldeny color I have like 50 plants out of that color and I freaking love it um but yeah let's let's move on to the next one you guys they do sit down inside of the um I guess that's the Calathea cave now. Um, next up, guys, we have the Philodendron Gloriosum. Now, she's growing, you know. Um, I can tell you that the last leaf looks a lot better than all the freaking leaves. Like, all the leaves put together, they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Like, that's how bad these... Like, guys, come on, I can show you. I can show you. We're all friends here. That, that leaf that just that is the this is the best leaf like look at this leaf even though it's janky and then like look at all the rest of them like 
Come on. Like we've been there. This plant has definitely been hit. All these leaves. Every single last. Let me check. Okay, we're good. I know she's fine on mics, but I have to double check. Like all these leaves, like once upon a time, um, it's just spider mite written. Like if you look at this leaf here, like most of y'all would probably just <laughs> chunk the whole plant. All right, look at this leaf. Like that is like a mess, you know. So yeah, um, but all in all, you guys, she's growing. She stopped the mutation thing where she gives like like this here which is actually nice there it is um it'll variegate right here and it was doing it for a very long time i cut that leaf off um but yeah um but she has a new leaf you guys that is trying to unfurl it's probably gonna get stuck i don't just i don't know I don't know. Maybe I need to bring it up some more. I don't know. I notice also too, it's kind of like with most plants, but if you give these philodendrons more light, then you won't get a longer, crazy like petiole. Um, but I wouldn't do like, so this plant here used to sit, like the light that you're seeing now is one of my um, grow bulbs. And it used to sit like on the top of my rack getting full blasted sun, but that was in its lower, um, younger stages and I noticed when um, I moved and switched it down to the lower racks that the patio started to get a lot longer so I don't know one day we're gonna get us a nice Gloriosa I was thinking about honestly just getting ordering one a nice size and just work with it but this one we've been working with for a very long time um, some of this um, like on this leaf here, it looks like it has spider mite damage, but it has like a freckle. I don't know. It's, I can guarantee you it's not spider mites. Like this one here, it, it guys, now the leaf that I showed you, now this one here, is definitely spider mites. I remember that one. That one, that one was a mess. But a lot of the, it looks like spider mites, you guys, but it's not. It has this speckle type of let me unlock this it has this speckled type variegation on it I can barely see the screen let's let's work with this one there it is it has this like speckled okay come on leafy it has that there we go it looks like spider mite damage you guys but it's not and it shows up on every leaf and it's right in the is that like the sinus thing I don't know the middle where the lobes are and it spreads out that's why I was getting the extra variegation on the ends but I don't know you guys again she's giving me a growth point there and then also um, when we did take her loose we spotted some more um, growth points that were activating and as you can see we have one that has activated and then also is unfurling the second leaf there which is kind of strange so I don't know I thought I maybe have put a plant down in here but then I started to kind of shake the the base of the plant and it moves right along with it so I don't know you guys so we're gonna have to <clears throat> figure that out I'm actually pulling up on it I wanted to see or check that base there I'll try to elevate it a little bit more but we're gonna figure it out you guys but this is the philodendron see look that leaf is just if this was like perfect this would be a stunner especially once that little speckled variegation stuff stabilizes it it is just like hopefully the next leaf oh crap <laughs> I was fixing to say hopefully the next leaf looks better but <clears throat> it looks like it's going to bend and not open maybe I can massage it a little bit I don't know and open it it usually has like a thin film on it so if you rub it back and forth it'll unloosen itself with a little film stuff for unloosen I don't know maybe it's not time to unloosen it but I just unloosened it so if you see any hectic damage on the lead it was probably me oh uh, like that I just ripped the sh 
it's probably not ready all right so the next leaf is going to be a little bit ripped but there's a bend it's like the sheath is not sheathing that's all it is it's the sheath is not sheathing look i just tried the sheath and i broke off a leaf yes guys it's the sheath um the leaf is trying to pull up but the sheath on the back end i'm like fixing to destroy and then not to mention there's like a new there it is there's a the new leaf that comes wrapped behind the philodendron so I can't like yank the thing and not destroy the leaf the new leaf rather so I don't know it's not looking good all right guys so I completely like destroyed the leaf yeah there was no way that this leaf was coming out of that sheath so we're gonna have to figure some stuff out so what I'm doing now you guys is raising the front end get some of this soil and push it back so yeah I just raised the top end I destroyed the leaf completely it's gonna be missing on just I don't know but I did help it out it was ready to come out but that sheath was just sheathing entirely too hard so what I did, I don't know if you're gonna see that, but what I did was raise it up out the, the soil some more. Just rake some of this here from this side back up to it. It's digging itself down in there. And then also maybe I need to add some sphagnum moss maybe across the top to keep the humidity up a lot more. When it was in the grow cabinet or my, my tent, it unfurled perfectly of course because of high humidity I don't know you guys but she's okay I mean that, that leaf will, won't be a leaf I could have waited I couldn't have because you seen that bend that bend was maybe it could have went maybe it was pushing it I don't know <laughs> trying to make excuses I probably shouldn't have touched it but then again it would have at least I would have known the next time anyway you guys um, Philodendron Gloriosa uh, my only two crawlers now I don't know if I necessarily want to get any more yeah maybe if they're already rooted and doing what they need to do then it would be fine but this one was actually fine and okay too but you know um, I did cut the uh, where are my shears I did cut the well separate the top from the mother um, I guess we can do this while we're here. Um, we're just going to make, I'll say simple, but these shears are super sharp. And this plant leaves super thin. All right, so there we go. Let's get this little end off. But we're going to keep an eye on her, especially with any of the, the browning of the tip of what's left on it. We're going to keep an eye on her. Um, same with the Gloriosum. She's fine, except as if it had the variegation, it didn't make it. So, yeah, other than that, well, the heavy variegation, like that leaf there on the corner, which is actually holding up for now. All the rest of them have browned it off, but yeah, new growth point destroyed, but she's out. Um, and then I see the new growth, or the new growth. How do you say a new? It's the new growth but there's a new growth point okay so I see the growth point coming out as well but and then also the same with baby girl I often say look at it it grew so much <laughs> look at it. that's my necklace I often say what happened but there she is you guys grown just it doesn't look like a lot but trust me it's a lot because it 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 been stuck like that forever but that is it here guys for today's video just a quick update to show you guys what's going on with my crawlers here I'm just, I can't wait. I really can't wait. So the next time you might see these, the Gloriosa, the Gloriosa hopefully will look normal like this, but with a cut in it, but more normal. And then hopefully this Palmania leaf come out, Humongo, and it just keeps growing. I just, I don't know. It could just be the genetics of this here, Gloriosa. I've been trying to, I don't know. I know it's my fault for one because it's not growing right but it also could be the plant fault because genetics you know 
I don't know you guys, but that is it here for today's video. Please do me a favor with that like button. Make sure you are subscribed, you guys. Make sure you hit that notification bell. This bell will keep you notified and let you know what is going on over here with Plant and Pete. Um, a lot of things that I do use will be over on the channel. Over here on the channel will be down in the description box below. Do me a favor, go check those out. Some of those do come with discount code that can save you some coin in the checkout. And uh oh, that is it. I think I have one more video to do. Thinking about doing a Hoya collection um, tour video thingy since it's the only spot that seems to stay clean. Probably because you don't do anything to Hoyas besides water them. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, that is it here. I'm going to do some more. I don't know. We might do it on camera. I'm going to do some more cutting of leaves. Um, figure some things out, especially like the older, some older yellow ones. I did get rid of some, if you remember. But, you know, we have some other ones. And I want to. I don't know guys, we're going to figure it out, um, yeah, I'm so upset about her, if you watch one of the videos, you know what's going on with her, but that is it guys, make sure you are subscribed, make sure the notification bell is on, and I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.